Hey friends, welcome to Ion South Florida, the insider, coming to you from the beautiful Los Olas area, where we give you what's trending, what's local, and what's hot with news in your pocket. In development news, construction is underway on the first phase of the Dania Point project. The $800 million project, a sprawling open-air mall with nearly 1 million square feet of retail, twin condo towers, two hotels, office towers, restaurants, and a super-sized bowling center. The development replaces the old wooden roller coaster and amusement park on I-95 in the city of Dania Beach. The project will introduce spacious pedestrian plazas, wood shade structures, water elements, and ample outdoor seating, creating an environment like a city within a city, a new and different kind of meeting place for residents and the millions of visitors coming from the airport and seaport. Once completed, it will be one of the region's largest open-air shopping villages. In boating news, the biggest economic boom to hit central Palm Beach County in decades might just happen. The plan calls for building a boat lift and a pier that would open access from the intercoastal to a landlocked network of lakes spanning from Delray Beach to West Palm Beach. Boaters, kayakers, paddleboarders, and other outdoor enthusiasts would be able to track between the intercoastal saltwater and the lake's freshwater ecosystems and businesses along the water, such as hotels and restaurants, could see more customers. Boating anyone? In art and culture news, get ready for the Florida Day of the Dead celebration, El Dia de los Muertos. This ever popular and very spirited festival of remembrance and revelry is Thursday, November 2nd. On this day, it is believed that the gateway between Miklan and the ancient Aztec land of the dead and our own opens up so we can dance and sing with our lost loved ones for one special time of the year. At 6.30 p.m. at Heizinga Plaza, the skeleton processional led by event founder Jim Hammond from Puppet Network and his giant 19 feet skeleton puppets will follow mariachi musicians along Riverwalk, Fort Lauderdale in a colorful sidewalk parade through the Florida Historic District. The processional ends at the Folklorico stage at Southwest 3rd Avenue, which will be closed for the Muertos Street Festival from 5 to 10 p.m. In entertainment news, we couldn't pass up this doggone cute story. In case you missed it, meet Mochi, also known as Mo, a female St. Bernard from South Dakota, who now holds the Guinness World Records title for currently having the longest tongue on a dog measuring in at 7.31 inches. Can your doggy top that? If so, send us a pic. As you know, South Florida is always a hotbed of activity, so check out some of the events happening in our own backyard. You're watching Eye on South Florida, The Insider. Make sure to follow us on social media and let us know what you're up to and what you have your eye on. See you guys soon.